From SHOT Show to now, this is probably one of the most highly anticipated releases from G&G. And we're looking at the CM16 LMG. CM16 light machine gun, and light is actually it. Now with all the guts on it, including this bipod, it does have a little bit of haft, but it's still nothing like carrying an M249 or a stoner or something big out there, all metal. You ditch this little bio, I'll get into that later. This is gonna be the lightest and probably one of the most versatile light machine guns out in the airsoft market. It's one that's been highly anticipated because it's built on the CM series, like the combat machines, uh, and with the polymer build and everything, this one is definitely unique. We're gonna start with the lower receiver on this one. The lower receiver is pretty much essentially a CM16 lower receiver. Combat machines, stamps, trademarks, all that. The guts inside are gonna be that. So everything you know, it does have the upgraded MOSFET with the ETU in it. That means you're going to get burst mode and programmability. We'll talk more about that in the internal section, but it does have the internal guts on it. So polymer build on the body, AMB, on the mag release, so you have both sides here, left and right, but it's uh, just a not ambi on the fire selector, so you're just looking at the righty only. They went with a little bit shorter, kind of a modernized one when they put on their higher end guns on the fire selector itself. Uh, so the lower is the same, you got the sling adapter plate here, one on the left hand side, just kind of for the righty guys, you can't actually take that off and uh, if you want to do a little bit of modding, you can flip it, but it's gonna clip in there. You've also got sling attachment points here in the back as well. On this one, I would probably run a two point anyway, it's just kind of me, the way I like to run LMGs, but because it's so light, you may not have to, honestly. Um, but you do have some options there. You do have a, a, you know, a way to attach here in the rails. We'll talk about the rails in a second. Upper receiver. It's elevated, it's a new mold, new design, new everything. You get this extra height to give you that LMG look, that kind of like support gun look. You got the charging handle here on the side. It's actually functional. So you got like the thing, you can pull it back, slap it, and then it actually flips up. It's really freaking cool. That part is metal. So if you wanna do it, you can grab it and you can pull it back and you get access to the rotary style hop up inside. It's actually the upgraded one too by G&G, the newest one. On the top here, you do have a rail segment, pretty good. Nice and elevated, super easy if you're wearing a mask or whatever, you can definitely get down these sights. No problem at all. Put an optic on there and you can easily sight this thing. Uh, it's a little above, just like the real one. They don't really co-witness. This rail sits higher than the actual rail here. Tons of rail space, big rail space here on this polymer rail. Rail top, rail bottom, and M-lock spaces down the side. Licensed M-lock logo on the side. You hear the rattle, right? That's the fake bullets. It comes with the fake bullets too. So you get those as well in the gun. Comes with the front and rear sights, give you that support gun look. Adjustable aperture, it flips up and down. And the big front post sight here. Um, if you don't want them, you can get rid of it. You can just simply press the button on the side, flip it down, it is now down out of the way. So if you're on an optic or whatever, it's there. Moving on to the end of the barrel, metal outer barrel, got this adjustable gas block. This is just kind of there for, uh, for looks and stuff like that and a standard 14 millimeter counterclockwise threads here on the end with a standard flash hider with their new paint scheme. So just doing the government required orange tip here for the US market. Outside of the US, you have a black tip on this thing. So anyway, on that, like I said, you got rail space down here and it does come with this bipod grip. So it's one of those spring loaded jobbies right here. You got everything you need, get the button, press it, flip it out, bipod, ready to go, set it on your target if you don't want it push it up and out of the way and you're good. If you don't want this, thumb screw right here takes it right off like I talked about. Couple quick turns here, loosen it up, it comes off, and then it takes a little bit of the weight. Remember the perceived weight as it sits out, now you've got a one-hander. I mean, it's a little bit on the heavier end, don't get me wrong, it's not like, you know, be a light little submachine gun, but you can carry this all day long and that is what matters is the ability to carry this thing all day long that's gonna be the big deal but again i think i would probably run it with the bipod just simply because for me just go ahead and put this guy back on here tighten it down um having that bipod and the foregrip does help uh to be able to just go prone or set this thing down do what you got to do moving to the back adjustable stock it's their new style one it's the g and g the uh the new upgraded one big battery space in the back big rubber butt head flip pad flip it off get inside uh, you do have some of the electronics in there, but you have plenty of space to put batteries on that. You're gonna want it because of the sustained fire nature of this gun. So you have all that in there as well. Like I said, the receiver is polymer on the bottom. It does have the new styling I said on it too, to mention that. Um, aside from trademarks and logos, there's none on it, which is kind of good because it helps keep the cost down. I kind of like that, there's no point. This is their own design anyway, so you don't need those things. You just have some G&G &G branding here on the rail and of course on the stock, but it's always in G&G &G style. 
very subtle and classy. And then the box mag, you get this 2,500 rounds box mag. I talked about the fake bullets, so you just go for the look. You can take them out if you don't wanna do the fake bullet thing. Uh, if you don't like that, I think it's cool, I'd leave it in. Box mag, this is a licensed multicam wrap on this box mag, it's 2,500 rounds, and it is powered through this little door right here by a pair of CR123 batteries, which is pretty cool they went that route. So you don't have like a nine volt battery hiding inside or whatever, you get a pair of the lithium CR123s, which are kind of like the standard for like military flashlights and a lot of military equipment. So you're gonna be able to pick those up and you should be getting some more umph out of it. Uh, they're lithium ion, they should last a little bit longer, have a little more juice for a smaller space. Like I said, 2,500 rounds on this thing, you can fill it up and let it go. It is uh, gonna run until it runs out and on that, um, Pretty neat design. It looks a little different than the rest, and I think they did a good job. The wrap itself is very, very well made. I think they've done a fantastic job building a solid box mag that's actually pretty darn easy to get to. All right, when you're ready, push this up, lift the door. You got that. You can take the fake bullets out of the way. Like I said, if you want to ditch them, you can kind of mod them out if that's what you want. And then you can drop the mag. Now, here's the kicker, right? Standard. M4 Magwell. So you can run whatever you need. So I'm gonna take the box mag, I'm gonna kind of put it here out of the way. Let's say your box mag uh, runs out of BBs and you don't have to take it out and reload it. Your buddy can toss you a mag ready to go and now you've got pretty much like an M4. You can take this and run with it. In fact, if you wanna lighten this thing up a lot, we can go back down to taking off the grip. Go ahead and put this down here too. Everything off camera, it's actually pretty awkward. I'm glad you guys can see. And now you've got kind of an M4. So if you wanna run something a lot lighter, you wanna don't uh, wanna play that support role with that sustained fire, you have that option, which is super cool. And I'll tell you how you can do that even better here in the internals coming up next. Like I said, this is using the enhanced uh, ETU uh, mech box, so it's electron trigger unit. It's got the programmability to it. You can do safe, semi, and burst fire. Uh, you can do full auto through programming through the trigger itself. It's also because it's electronic, you're not gonna wear out any contacts in there. Support gun, of course, you're gonna wanna run that thing with sustained fire, but in this configuration, what's cool is you can make it safe, semi, full. So you can do safe, semi, burst. So now, if you just don't wanna run for the day, you're like, man, I don't feel like running a support gun, I don't need a box mag, it's a quick game, I wanna take this thing somewhere else. Now you have just a pretty much a standard M4. Of course, it's gonna have a little more weight in the front because of the rail and this gas system here, but you can just flip the sights back up, put that guy there, and now you've got a standard-ish M4 to run. It gives you versatility. Basically, you're getting two guns in one here, which is a pretty cool thing that G&G has done. Also for the Magwell, not just G&G mags fit, you can run mid caps, you can run high caps. You can also run any other box mag that fits a standard M4 well in there. It's gonna fit and feed. If it fits and feeds in a combat machine, it's gonna fit and feed in this. And I think that's pretty cool they did that. You're not gonna be stuck with using their box mag. In the future, you're gonna see that box mag being sold separately as an add-on, so you can buy extra ones if that's what you want and do it. Um, but of course, you know, starting off out of the box, you have this. All right, take it to the chrono. Of course, since this is pretty much like an AG, you can do safe, semi, full, you can do whatever. Seeing numbers under that 400 mark, which is good, so it means you're gonna use it pretty much any outdoor field. Obviously, this gun is not designed for indoor play, so it's not really gonna be set up at that 350 range. If you wanna upgrade it, of course you can. You can do it, but it'll kind of break that versatility thing I talked about earlier, where you can kind of use this as an M4 if you don't wanna use it as a support gun. It gives you both options or you can tune it up. And because it's got that programmable trigger, you can make it burst mode or whatever, so you're not wasting ammo if you wanna switch over to the other magazine. Rate of fire, of course, is where it matters, and that's what we're seeing here. Run this thing on high voltage, you're seeing a healthy, good, sustained rate of fire. You don't want it so crazy where you run out of ammo, because remember, playing the support role means keeping heads down, not necessarily getting those kills. You're gonna be probably doing a better job letting your friends and your teammates get up to the front line and get those kills while you're supporting them. Sure, you're gonna get some kills in the process, but your job is to do that if you're playing support role like this right. But again, with the versatility, you can drop the box mag, throw an M4 mag in there, and run and gun and be the frontline guy as well. Or you can do it with this if you like. But again, playing support role means letting your friends get the kills, but it has a good rate of fire so you can keep that sustained fire going and not run of all those 2,500 BBs in that automatic box mag, automatic winding mag, too quickly. So that's it. The G&G &G CM16 
LMG, and it's available right now. Uh, price at your local dealer, check it out. Depending on where you live in the US, you're looking at sub 500, under 500 for the whole kit, box mag that works, bipod, and all that good stuff. And of course, you guys wanna check out or learn more about this product and other GPG products, I'm gonna have a link in the description below so you can click it and go learn more. Thanks for watching and go out and uh, until next time, go out, play some airsoft, have some fun, but no matter what you do, call your freaking hits.